I'm back with another video and this time I'm gonna be doing my Yo West haul. It feels weird talking about Yo West when it feels like it was so long ago but this is my haul. I have so many books to show you guys today. I don't know if I'm gonna get into the synopsis of every single one. I'm super excited. I managed to get my hands on almost every single arc that I wanted. It was such a surreal experience and it wouldn't have been possible without my brother's help and the help of his friend. I'm proud of the schedule that I made because it worked out in the end. Yo West was one of the best days of my entire life. I still can't believe that I went to Yo West even though I have a vlog about it. I almost didn't even get to go. But that's a story for another day. I think I'm gonna be filming a video all about my Yo West experience. I don't know. You guys let me know if you want to watch that. I want to talk about being Sadie for Wednesday books. I want to talk all about my experience on the way to Yo West and my experience during Yo West. So if you're interested in watching a video like that, definitely let me know down below because I don't know if I should film it or not. But enough rambling, let's get on to all the books that I acquired at Yo West. First up, we visited the Riveted Tent and we got to pick a lollipop and if it had a color at the end of the lollipop, we won an arc. But my brother and I sadly didn't win anything, but his friend won The Geography of Lost Things by Jessica Brody. This comes out in October and it sounds amazing. I've never even heard of this before Y'all West, but I'm super glad that I have it in my hands now. It sounds super cute and right up my alley. This book follows a girl whose father has just passed away and she inherited his convertible but as soon as somebody buys it off from her she has to drive it to the location but the thing is she doesn't know how to drive stick shift which I can relate but her ex-boyfriend does and I'm guessing her ex-boyfriend and her go on this road trip to deliver this convertible to the buyer and it sounds like some stuff's gonna go down between them I love anything and everything that comes out in October so I'm definitely looking forward to this one. So next up I got some books from the underlying tent. This tent had some amazing art drops. The thing is that my group and I went to the prom. So most of these we got at the prom event. I got Freshman by Tom Ellen and Lucy Iveson. This one comes out on June. But it follows this girl and this guy who head off to college and drama follows. Next up, my brother got for me my so-called Bollywood Life by Nisha Sharma. This one comes out this month and I don't know if it's already out or if it's about to come out, but it sounds super diverse and I can't wait to read it. And next up, is a book that has such a funny story to it. During the prom event, they were giving a tote bag with a book inside of it. This is the big old tote bag that they gave us. And inside of my brother's tote bag was this book, which was the book that I was gonna go make line for after the prom event. This really cleared up our schedule quite a bit since we didn't have to wait in line for it, but this is called The Cheerleaders by Kara Thomas. And it comes out in July. Back says there are no more cheerleaders in the town of Sunny Hook. I don't really want to read more than that because I don't want to be spoiled. But this sounds like an amazing thriller. And lastly, from the underlined event, we got Nevertheless We Persisted. This is a nonfiction book about celebrities that have been bullied against. And I don't really read nonfiction, but this one comes out in September. Next up are three books that I got at the Penguin Teen Tent. I'm so excited for these. Oh, these are some of my most anticipated reads of this year. I got Give the Dark My Love by Beth Revis. This one comes out in September and all I really know about it is that it deals with necromancy. And as soon as I heard that word, I was all in for it. And next up, I got Lies You Never Told Me by Jennifer Donaldson. And I've been seeing this book everywhere and have been dying to get my hands on an arc for it for quite a while. I love how this arc looks like and I can't get over it. The quote in the back says they all have something to hide and when the truth comes out their lives will burn. And lastly from the Penguin booth is a book that I actually got from the author herself. I've known this author for quite a while and I'm so excited that I finally got to meet her in person and that is Emily Wibberly. She is coming out with this book called Always Never Your it actually already came out by the time that this video goes up. She wrote this one with her fiance Austin and I had the extreme pleasure to interview them at Yo West. And if you want to go check that one out, it is going to be linked down below. I've known Emily for quite a while and I've read 
her previous novels that were indie published and I absolutely love them but those were fantasy so I'm excited to read some contemporary from her and her fiance and they were amazing enough to sign it for me their signatures up there I'm so proud of how far Emily has come in her writing journey and I wish her all the best next up are some books I got from HMH teen this is another booth that had some of the best arcs ever especially if you're a fantasy lover like me <laughs> I managed to get my hands on West by Edith Pateau. This one comes out in October and I don't know what it's about but I have seen this quite a lot and it's a pretty thick one so I'm pretty excited to see what this is about. The cover is gorgeous but the one that I really really wanted was Empress of All Seasons by Emiko Jean. This one comes out in November. The main character has to conquer all of the seasons before she gets to marry the prince but the thing is that yokai are not allowed to conquer all seasons and our main character happens to be half yokai and has to secretly enter this contest even though she's forbidden from it. I got my hands on an arc of the special ones by M. Bailey. This did already come out last year. I'm guessing they had some extras that they just wanted to hand out and I got this one right at the end when they were having a free-for-all. No line needed, just whatever you could get your hands on. It follows this girl who's part of a cult that believe in reincarnation. It sounds super dark and twisted and right up my alley so I can't wait to read it. Next up are two books that I got from the I Read YA booth. They were right next to HMH team. We had some time to kill and we managed to get in line just in time for Lovely Dark and Deep by Justina Chen. This one comes out at the end of July. And I don't know much about it except that the main character is allergic to the sun. And the last book that I got at the booth is one that I did not think I was going to get my hands on. I did get my hands on a copy of City of Ghosts by Victoria Schwab. I've heard so many great things about Victoria Schwab and I personally haven't read anything about hers yet but this is definitely going to be my first read from hers. I believe this is a middle grade but I don't really want to know anything else besides that. I want to dive in blind. Next up are a couple books that I got from the Fierce Reads booth. This was their contemporary giveaway art drop. I managed to get my hands on these two. The Impossibility of Us by Katie Upperman. This one comes out in July and it looks super cute. It follows this girl who has to move away after her brother passes away. I'm guessing it's a beach town because it has kind of beach vibes to it. And I also got my hands on If You Don't Have Anything Nice to Say by Leila Sales. This one comes out this month, if not already. But I don't know much about this book. All I know is that I love the typography. The back does say, before we go any further, I want you to understand this. I am not a good person. Has me hooked a little bit. Speaking of fierce reads, I do have an unboxing coming I received a box full of books from DJ over at Wednesday Books. He is the one that contacted me about becoming Sadie and as a thank you for participating in the Sadie campaign, he was amazing enough to send the arcs that the Fierce Reads booth was dropping but I managed to meet DJ during my line for the contemporary giveaway and he's so amazing and so sweet. So thank you DJ if you're watching this video for everything that you do for us reviewers and all of the readers. I met so many amazing people at Yelwes. It was mind-blowing. But that leads me to these last two books that I got. These were given to me by some kind souls that I met through the internet. Before going to Yelwes, I created a group specifically for people that were attending Yelwes so we didn't feel so alone. But this group is very dear to my heart now. They are so sweet. And I want all of you guys to meet them. I'll try and include all of their socials down below because you guys need to follow all of them. Two of them gave me these books. One of them traded with me for this copy of Grace and Fury by Tracy Banghart. It comes out in July and I've had my eye on it for quite a while. She managed to get an extra copy of this one and sweetly and kindly traded it with me. Ali, if you're watching this, thank you so, so much. But this is about two sisters who live in a world where women have no rights and they both face different fates. One of them has to go to the palace and another one has to go to a prison. And the next book that I got was from a sweet, sweet soul who saw me in the line for City of Ghosts and remembered that I was 
looking for this book. So this is Jack of Hearts and Other Parts by L.C. Rosen. This comes out in October. This follows Jack who starts writing 18 sex advice column on an online website and starts receiving threats. But this is an LGBT novel and that's all I needed to know. <laughs> so I've been filming for almost an hour now so I'm gonna try and speed it up. Next up I got some samplers. This is from the I Read YA tent. It has some samplers from the Traders game. The fandom give me some truth and not if I save you first. And then I got a sampler from the Penguin Teen booth. This has a lot of their fantasy novels. And this is some samplers from the HMH Teen booth. And it includes all of these books right here. East has a different cover. What the heck? So next up we have a box full of books from Wednesday Books. Here are all of the books that were in this box. So first up I see Dear Rachel Meadow by Adrian Kistner. This one comes out in June. This one follows a girl who writes emails to her hero, Rachel. And I guess we find out a lot about her life by reading these. And it is told in strictly just emails. Next up is a book that I really, really wanted that I knew I wasn't going to be able to get at Y'all West. And it is Black Wing Speeding by Alex London. This one comes out in October. And honestly, it was love at first sight because of this cover. So I don't really know what it's about. Ooh. But from skimming it, I found out that it follows Falconers and oh my god, that sounds amazing. I've never read a book about Falconers. I'm so excited. Next up is one that I'm super, super excited about as well and that is To Be Honest by Maggie Ann Martin. This one comes out in August and I'm also in love with this cover. It's some representation for us plus size. And then we have All Summer Long by Hope Larson. This one comes out this month, if not already, and it is a comic. I'm super excited. I've never heard about this one before. So I saw this book during the contemporary giveaway and I was pretty bummed that I didn't get it but of course I got it anyway thanks to DJ and that is Out of the Blue by Sophie Cameron. This one comes out this month. Wow a lot of May releases and what caught my attention was this first line right here. When otherworldly beings start falling from the sky it seems like the end of days is near. But for one girl, it's the beginning of an adventure that will change her life. I mean, beings falling out of the sky, yes please. Next up I have The Outcast by Taryn Matharu. This comes out this month. It's book four from the Summoner series. Next up is The Raging Ones by Krista and Becca Ritchie. This one comes out in August. Next up we have Dance of Thieves by Mary E. Pearson. This one comes out in August as well. And then we have Star Touch Stories by Roshni Chokchi. I haven't read any of her novels so I'm not gonna read the synopsis for this one. I don't want to be spoiled. Next up I have Mayfly by Jeff Sweat and this comes out this month. And then we have My Family Divided by Diane Guerrero. This one comes out in July. Yes! Okay so this is one I'm super excited about. It is The Boneless Mercies by April Genevieve to Cholp and it comes out in October. I love April. I didn't even know she wrote this book. So this is a gender bend of Beowulf. One last book from the Fierce Reads box. This period by 12 different people. This one comes out this month. But next up, I'm going to be showing you guys the swag that I managed to get my hands on. So here we go. A riveted tote bag, a penguin teen tote bag with Renee Adier's quote in the back, an owl crate tote bag, which I actually traded with a kind soul in the City of Ghosts line. She liked one of my get underlined tote bags and I had extras, so I gave it to her and she actually gave me this tote bag in return. And the last tote bag that I managed to get was from Epic Reads. I think I got this tote bag because I'm part of their Epic Reads insider group. Emily gave me this beautiful makeup bag with the copy of Always Never Yours and I love it. Now we're actually getting to the posters. I have The Darkest Minds. I got this Meridire poster or Noah Shop poster. A Shatter Me poster. Map of the Lands of Red Queen. A Cassandra Clare Queen of Air and Darkness poster. Next up I want to show you guys the sweater that I wore to y'all West. It's this beautiful Sadie sweater with Courtney Summers name on it and the hashtag for the campaign. I got my Y'all West press badge. A Meet Cute poster postcard, a Darkest Minds pin, these are Darkest Minds stickers, a Stay Sweet postcard, Four Dead Queens, I'm excited to read this one, a Save the Date card, another pin for Furthermore, a Peculiar Holographic card, Epic Insiders pin, some Epic Reads book nerd questions, a Grim Lovely slip balm, and then I got a bunch of these buttons at the I Read YA booth. Lastly, I have all of the samplers. I got Spinning Silver by Naomi Novik, One of Us is Lying, Catwoman by Sarah J Mass, Tess of the Rose, 
the darkest legacy on the back it has the darkest minds and courting darkness i am super excited about this one it sounds pretty amazing i keep seeing ads for it and i can't wait to get my hands on it but we've made it to the end i'm overwhelmed but everything in the best way. I'm so excited for all of this reading material. Thank you so much to DJ from Wednesday Books. Thank you to all of the publishers that put this event together. All of the authors. So grateful that we have book events like this. Thank you for watching this video. Let me know if you went to Y'all West this year or if you are planning on going in the near future. I'm gonna try and go next year, but I'll probably not road trip it there this time. Thank you so much to everybody that came up to me and said hi or took a picture with me. I am so sad that I didn't take any pictures that y'all was, so I really have to do that next time. But that is it for this video. Let me know if you're interested in any of the books that I mentioned today. And as always, I hope you guys have an amazing week and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye! Thank <music> you.